Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we understood how to trace a JavaScript program in Google Chrome. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to trace a JavaScript program in Firefox. Tracing is one of the most important concept because it helps us to understand how exactly the browser is executing our code. Tracing is used for debugging the code. Debugging means finding unexpected errors and removing them. We discuss a lot about debugging in upcoming video tutorials. Okay? Instead of executing the code completely, we can execute the JavaScript code line by line, step by step. That is actually called as tracing. We can pause the execution at any time. We can pause the execution at any time and execute the code line by line and understand how the code is getting executed. Also, we can examine or watch the variable's status. When the program is running, we can watch different variable's status, what is happening inside the variables, which help us in debugging the code easily. right? So, let's get started and understand tracing a JavaScript program in Firefox. First of all, I am going to create one HTML document. I go to start, say here notepad, I click on the notepad, you can see that the notepad got open. I write here basic HTML5 document structure code, less than exclamation mark doc type HTML. Then I say here opening HTML tag lang equal to en. Then I say closing HTML tag and then I say opening head tag, closing head tag opening body tag and closing body tag. Within the head section, I say meta char set equal to utf8. I save this file at desktop, file, save as, save the file at desktop with the name default.html. Both the sides, I put double quotations. Click on the save button. I minimize the notepad. You can see that the default.html is created. I right click on it, say open with the Firefox. You can see that the default.html is open in the Firefox. Now I am going to set the title. To set the title, I go to the head section. I say here opening title tag and then I say tracing demo, closing title tag. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the title is set to tracing demo. I go to notepad in between the body section. I say here script type equal to text or JavaScript. Then I say here closing script tag. Within that I say document dot write in double quotations. I say hello world double quotations comma. I also give the break tag so that the browser should move the cursor to the next line. I am going to copy this line of code, paste few times, 1, 2, 3, 4. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Ok, I am not refreshing. What happens when I refresh? We know that when we say refresh, the browser is going to execute the code line by line, top to down sequentially. It displays hello world, moves the cursor to the next line, displays hello world, moves the cursor to the next line, displays hello world, moves the cursor to the next line, displays hello world, moves the cursor to the next line, displays hello world, moves the cursor to the next line. That means we get hello world displayed five times one below another in the browser, right? File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we got hello world displayed five times one below another. Whenever we refresh, the browser is going to execute our complete code. As I told, we can pause the execution on any line and execute the code line by line, step by step and understand how the code is getting executed with the help of tracing. To trace the JavaScript code, we need the debugger. Here in Firefox, we have open menu button. It is same like a customized button in Google Chrome. If I click on it, we get a menu. We have here open 
web developer tools if i click on it we get a debugger tool here if i click on debugger tool you can see that the debugger tab is open once i say refresh we can see the default.html source code visible here right okay as i told when we refresh the browser is going to execute our complete code to pause the execution on any line we need to add a breakpoint to add a breakpoint on a line number we need to click if i click on line number 9 we see that blue ribbon that indicates a breakpoint that means we have added a breakpoint on line number 9 also on the left hand side you see in default.html on line number 9 we have a breakpoint that is what the browser is saying there right we can remove the breakpoint by clicking on that blue ribbon if i click the breakpoint is removed click we added a breakpoint click we removed a breakpoint so add remove add remove add so that is how we can add and remove a breakpoint when we refresh the page the browser is going to pause the execution on line number 9 now because there we have a breakpoint if i refresh you can see that the browser has paused the execution on line number 9 on the right hand side the variables events global scope local scope different things are displayed don't worry we understand them step by step later so at present the browser has paused the execution on line number 9 because there we have a breakpoint right we can execute the code completely by clicking on this resume button resume means continue the execution if i say resume it executes the complete code friends okay again i say refresh you can see that the browser has paused the execution on line number 9 we can execute the code line by line with the help of step over button here we have a step over button the shortcut key is f10 if i click on step over you can see that the browser has executed the line number 9 code we see once a hello world displayed if i say step over browser has executed one more line we got one more hello world we can say step over like that right if i say continue it is going to execute all the below codes it just going to execute the further code completely if i click on that we see hello world displayed five times hope you are understanding what is the meaning of the continue or this resume button and what is the meaning of this uh, step over button okay step over button is used to execute the current line and move the control to the next line or pause the execution on next line that's the meaning of step over okay we discuss about all these buttons a lot later no worries just try to understand how do we trace how actually we put the breakpoint and execute the code line by line okay we can not only add a breakpoint single or one time we can add multiple breakpoints we can add multiple breakpoints if we want for example if i want to add a breakpoint on line number 12 all i need is i need to click on that line number you can see that one more ribbon is added there it is telling that on line number 12 we have a breakpoint once i say refresh the browser is going to pause the execution on line number 9 there we have the breakpoint right we can step over to execute the current line and move the control to the next line if we want we can continue the execution until the next breakpoint by clicking on this uh, resume button or continue button if i click on it browser has executed these two lines and it has paused the execution on line number 12 there we have the next breakpoint right we can step over we can step over or we can continue the execution that is how you can take help of the debugger tool hope you guys have understood how to add breakpoint and how to remove the breakpoint how to step over how to continue the execution how the resume button or pause button and how a step over button are helpful now i go back to the notepad and i am going to delete this code i am going to write one more code for execution so i say here var a equal to 0 var b equal to 0 var c equal to 0 then a equal to 10 b equal to 10 c equals to a plus b semicolon then i say here document dot write display the value of c comma c bracket close semicolon when i say file save go to browser and refresh what happens we know that 
the browser is going to execute the code line by line, top to down, sequentially. It creates a variable a, assigns a value 0 to it, creates a variable b, assigns a value 0 to it, creates a variable c, assigns a value 0 to it, then it executes a equal to 10, it puts 10 in a, then it executes the next statement, it puts 10 in b, then a is 10, b is 10, 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 will be assigned to c and we get the output c equal to 20 on the screen. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we are getting the output c equal to 20. When I refresh, the browser is executing the code completely. We can pause the execution with the help of breakpoint. So I click on line number 9 to add a breakpoint. Once I say refresh, you can see that the browser has paused the execution on line number 9. We don't see any output there. It is still processing. You can see that, right? We can observe the value in a variable. We can watch the current status of variables by moving the mouse cursor on a variable. If I move the mouse cursor on variable a, it is telling the value of a is undefined, right? I click outside. When I move the mouse cursor on b, it is telling that the value of b is undefined. Okay, when I move the mouse cursor on C, the value of C is undefined because still these JavaScript codes are not executed, right? We can step over step by step, right? If I say step over, now the variable A has the value 0, it is not undefined, whereas B is still undefined. You can see that B is still undefined, C is still undefined. So let me step over, step over. Now the value of B is 0, I click outside, now I move the mouse cursor on C, the value of C is 0, right? Hope you are understanding. If I step over, now the value of A is going to be 10, right? Now I say step over, the value of B is going to be 10, that is the current value or current status of B variable, okay? Now we have A 10, B 10. So 10 plus 10 is going to be 20. 20 will be assigned to C. At present, the C is having the value 0, right? If I step over, now the value of C is 20. And when I say step over, we get the output C equal to 20 on the screen. We can continue the execution by clicking on the resume button, right? It is not necessary that all the time we have to move the mouse cursor on a variable to examine or watch the current status of it. We can actually add watch in this variables list here. We can watch any variable if we are interested. For example, when I say refresh, the browser has paused the execution on line number 9. If I want to see the status of the variable A, I need to move the mouse cursor on A, right? To see the status, it is having the value undefined. If I have to see the status of C, I have to move the mouse cursor on C, right? To see the status, it is also having undefined. Instead of that, we can continuously watch the variable status by adding it in this variable section. How do we add watch? All we need is move the mouse cursor on the variable. Here you have watch. Once you click on watch, it is going to be added here in the watch expression list that C is a variable and it has at present undefined value. Good. Let me move the mouse cursor on B and then I click on watch. You can see that the B is also added and it has undefined value. I move the mouse cursor on A. I click on watch. You can see that A is also added and it has the value undefined. Now we can continuously watch the status of these variables. We can understand and see what exactly happening in these variables. Okay. Let me step over. You can see that A has the value now 0. Let me step over. B has the value 0. C is still undefined because we have not executed this line. Step over. Now the C has value 0. If I say step over, now the A has value 10. I say step over. Now the B has value 10. I say step over. The C has value 20. When I say step over, we get the output c equal to 20 on the screen. We can say continue the execution. That is how you can add watches, watch variables and uh, understand how the code is getting executed behind the scenes. To remove a breakpoint, I click on that ribbon. So breakpoint is removed. 
we have these watches we can remove the watches if we want by clicking on this uh, cross mark right i have removed the watch c i have removed b i have removed a hope you guys have clearly understood how do we trace any javascript program with the help of breakpoints how do we add breakpoint how do we remove breakpoint how do we add multiple breakpoints how do we watch variables at the time of execution how do we see the current status of variable hope you guys have clearly understood how we trace a javascript program in firefox so for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to watch this video again and again and understand it clearly and i also suggest you people to trace some other javascript program with the help of that debugger tool okay in this video tutorial we have understood tracing a javascript program in firefox for this video tutorial this much is enough friends for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial